Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Derek. Thanks for watching my video today. So I recently picked up a digital torque meter from Harbor Freight. It's the Quinn brand. And I wanted to take this old $10 Pittsburgh torque wrench that I picked up from Harbor Freight probably a couple of years ago. I don't know how long I've had it. And check to see how accurate it is based on that torque meter. So just to be honest with you guys, this torque wrench hasn't seen like a ton of time, a ton of use. I do rotate my own tires just because it's faster for me to do it than to go take it to the tire shop and sit there and wait for them to do it. The tire shop I buy tires from doesn't really uh, make appointments for those and it usually takes like an hour to an hour and a half for them to get it done. And I can do it faster myself. Not to mention, I just enjoy doing it myself. I know that seems might seem ridiculous, but I do. So this wrench has been mostly used to torque down lug nuts on my vehicle tires. There have been a few jobs that I've done where I've actually looked up the torque specs on changing out some parts and used this. But for the most part, since it's the half inch torque wrench, it's been too big, uh, but it's the only torque wrench that I have. I would like to be a little bit more accurate and try a little bit harder to meet torque specs, but I just work on my own stuff really, and I haven't had any problems yet. We're gonna go in 25 pound increments. So I'm going to take this up to 25 foot pounds. The reflection may be too bad, so hopefully you don't just have to take my word for it. And on this torque wrench, it does get slightly covered, but we are on 20 and the line is here between six and four, 25 foot pounds. So we'll check this out three times. All right, so here we go. 27.1. 24.4. Looks like 24.4 and 24.9. Let's try that one more time. Looks like 25.3. So, so far it's pretty stinking close. Let's reset this again. We're gonna take it up to 50 foot pounds. Again, hopefully you'll be able to see this on the tiny screen on the camera. It looks like there's just too much reflection, but we are on zero and 50 is right there. 47.5, 49.5, and 50.2. So it's pretty dang close there too. I did get one little bit of a skewed number. 70's right there. We're in between the four and the six. Seventy four point two. It is gonna beep because I have some I I was fooling around with it yesterday. I entered a torque spec, so when you're actually using this on a on a ratchet to tell you the torque, uh, it'll beep at you and tell you when to stop and you're at the correct torque setting. Seventy three point four. Seventy three point five. 74.5. So we are getting a little bit off there. We're at 100 there and the zero is in line with the center line there. 96.7. Whoops, looks like we gotta go again. 90.9. Wow, that's way off. Go again. 97.1. Pull it back again. Got to try again. 97.1. we We'll do one more for kicks and giggles. 99.4. So I guess this really wouldn't be a bad time to just go ahead and give a review on this thing. You guys saw the results. It's within a couple of foot pounds of the digital torque meter pretty much every time. The few times that it was off, it was probably just human error because it pretty stayed pretty consistent. We got the exact same torque reading a few times. You know, maybe I did something, maybe it was the torque wrench, but for the most part, you know, picking it up for $10. That's literally what I paid for this thing is 10 bucks. Just to get your lug nuts or, you know, like I said, other non-critical parts within spinning distance of the torque 
torque. I don't think you can go wrong with this thing. I'm not going to make any claim, claims like it's the best torque wrench in the world and every auto mechanic ought to throw away their snap-on, go pick this thing up and use it entirely on its own for the rest of their, their lives. What's funny is it actually comes with a little paper saying that you should get it recalibrated every every year or two or something like that. The thing only costs 10 bucks. Like you could just buy a brand new one every time it needs to be recalibrated. One thing you need to know about this torque wrench and as far as I know all torque wrenches alike that operate on tension and springs like these ones the best thing you can do for them to make them last is just undo your knob back here and screw it all the way down to where there's no tension put on those springs in there and it's totally loose. Uh, that's one of the things that everybody recommends you do so I'll just regurgitate it because that's what I've done and it's still reasonably accurate all things considered. So when you put it away just make sure you do that. Also just don't drop it. Take care of it. Keep it in the blow mold case. I think mine broke in half. I threw it away. Something happened to it. I don't have it anymore but uh, just treat it real nice. Be careful with it. Don't throw it around and abuse it or it probably isn't going to last very long. I don't want to go on too long but I do want to just add in one more thing. I used to work at a tire shop when I was in high school and we had torque wrenches like this. Exact same setup that looked exactly the same like they came out of the same steam factory in Taiwan or China or wherever they came from and we were buying those from Napa and I think that they were every bit as accurate as this is and I think we were paying between 60 and 120 dollars for those things I don't remember off the top of my head but I know that one broke one time when I was using it the springs back here popped out and I went and showed the owner you know he was just frustrated like oh man that's like second one this month or something like that you know we weren't real careful with them I, I didn't I didn't set them down real gently I just didn't understand I, I could have definitely taken better care of them than I did, but uh, I wouldn't be, like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this $10 torque wrench at Harbor Freight is coming out of the same factory, maybe with just a little few extra or a few less QA checks at the end of the line. You can definitely take it home, test it out, make sure it's uh, at least feels accurate. And if it is, it's probably going to be accurate enough to put some lug nuts on your truck or your car or SUV, whatever you got. I definitely wouldn't say it's a must buy. I don't see why not. If the coupon comes around to get them for 10 bucks, I'm probably just going to pick up the three eighths and the quarter inch drive uh, just to have around for, like I said, not putting, just putting on uh, non-critical parts and things like that. So this is pretty much my review on the Harbor Freight Pittsburgh half inch drive torque wrench. It's decent. Don't hesitate to pick it up for, again, I've said this many times, non-critical things and uh, have fun with it. Do what you got to do. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you'll give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, go down and click subscribe. I'd really appreciate it.